What's going on guys? I got something really cool to share with you today. So I found a study where they were able to increase people's bench press uh, workload volume by 25% between sessions. Between sessions. That's insane. The way that they did this, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna uh, dance around and I'm not gonna yeah, save it for the end or anything. The way they did this, they found that when you cool your palms in between working sets of, say, a bench press, that it can vastly improve your uh, your ability to do more work, to put in more reps and accomplish more volume. So, of course, after reading this, I have to try it. <laughs> so, I'm going to go to the gym today, and I'm going to do the... Uh, the control group uh, exercise, the, the control group uh, without doing any sort of palmar cooling as it's called, and just to see you know, how much volume I can do with their protocol that they laid out in the procedures of the study. Then uh, next week I'm going to go back and do it with palmar cooling to see if I can see a 25% increase in my work uh, volume. So this will be really interesting. If this is like a real thing and it works, I'm going to be blown away because this this is huge. This is way like if you're not familiar with the the rate of progress that we often see in fitness, it if you want a 25% increase in your strength or your ability to do work or your 25% increase in volume that's substantial. That's going to take years for a trained individual to increase 25%. So to be able to do that by just altering what you do in between sets, that's insane. So I'm going to try it. So the study took uh, trained individuals. Uh, so people that have been training for, uh, I think on average it was 10 years. And they had them do a, uh, a, 85% of their one rep maximum bench press until fatigue and then they did four sets of that and that was what they considered as part uh, as their work volume and the more uh, reps you could do before fatigue the more that contributed to the work volume today we're gonna go find my one rep max bench press following the exact same procedures that the study did and we're gonna see uh, we're going to see uh, what my initial non-hand cooling um, work volume is for their procedure. So I'll see you at the gym. Alright, so we're here at the gym. We have the first warm-up set weight already racked up. So we're going to do 50% uh, for 10 reps, then uh, 5 reps at 75%, 3 reps at 80 so, uh, 1 rep at 90%. And then I have three chances to hit my one rep max. So we're gonna hope for, shoot for 250, but I think that's a little bit ambitious, but we're gonna go for it. So I'm gonna do these warm up sets and see, uh, see where we're at for the one rep max. All right, so we're on the first set of warm ups. Shoot for 10 reps at 50%. Time again. Should be 80%. Pretty sure there's 80%. <laughs> this 
It's supposed to be, and I'm pretty sure I did the. Are you recording? I'm recording this now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I want to see the live. This is how it happens. Yeah. Math is hard, kids. Uh, yeah. So this is three reps at 80% or 200 pounds. Let's do it. Last warm up set before the one rep max is 90% of my expected one rep max, which is 225 for one rep. <laughs> now I'm interested to try more weight, but I would like, that was a grind. <laughs> I don't know. Probably like five more pounds? I don't know. I'm curious. There's no way I was getting that one. Uh-uh. Oh, I can tell right when I dropped it, like it's not going back up. Oh, five more man. pounds, five more little pounds. <laughs> it's amazing how much five pounds can make when you're already at your, your peak. It's like the straw that broke the camel's back. Oh. All right, so I have my one rep max. It's a nice even, pleasing 250. And so uh, now we're gonna do the, uh, the actual test sets that count toward the work volume for the, for the test at 85% of the one rep max. So I'll see you guys in five minutes when doing the first set of those. Stretching out a little bit. Trying to make sure I, uh, I'm ready for the next one. Okay, this is the first one that counts. 85%, which is about 210 pounds. The timer is just up now. So we're gonna go ahead and see how many reps I can get of 85% of the one rep max. And uh, he's gonna help me pull it up when I can't do it by myself. Attempts at the one rep max and a bunch of warm up sets. It's, yeah, it's about right. So now we got three more minutes to rest. And today, since I'm doing the like the control trial, I'm not doing anything with cooling my hands. But next time I'm gonna do it, this is the point in which I would be attempting to cool my body via cooling my hands. So we have three minutes rest between when we do another one of those, and we have four total. So three more. So the time is up for that one. Let's move into the next set.
was hoping for that sixth rep. But I'm honestly surprised I got five after failing on five the last time. So, not, not bad. Let's start that timer for the next one. Okay, so two sets of five. Let's see if I can keep the five train going. Time's up for that one. Third set. Better scores and lift more. I'll see you guys next week.